How's it going guys? It's Max H Tutorials here and I'm going to be showing you guys in a quick series on how to remake Instagram. Now I'm going to be going over everything from installing the applications to getting started in coding and coding the back end. We're not going to be using Firebase. We're going to be actually using kind of like a real world example. Uh, Laravel. Laravel is a PHP framework to build APIs and it's really powerful and I'm going to be taking it slow for the beginner to learn everything and let's just get started. So first part is installing the application. Now this is not a planned course, you just want to say that ahead of time. I want to take this slow so you guys can see my, um, you know, how I think while, while I'm coding. This way you can see my errors and learn from them rather than just copying and pasting code. I think this is the best way to learn. and. I'm gonna stop talking and let's just get started. I'm gonna share my screen. So the first thing that we're gonna need is Xcode 9. Now to download Xcode 9 is pretty simple. Just go to your app store. Uh, my app store is actually right here. Let's go to the app store and we're gonna search for Xcode. In your Xcode, you're just gonna click here. I mean the app store, you're gonna click Xcode and you're gonna click install. It should have an install button. Simply just click that. I already have installed and the next program that we're going to be using it's called MAMP. MAMP is pretty easy to install. Uh, just go to MAMP.info, should take it to this page and just download the free version which is right here. Click download and we should be ready to go. Now let me explain what both of these programs do just for the beginner. Um, Xcode 9 is where we're going to be doing the coding for our iPhone application. And MAMP is our local host server. Now we're gonna need some kind of server to actually host that database. Um, the database is basically where all our post and user info is saved. So imagine when you log in, you have a username and password, all that information is actually saved in a server, um, saved and verified in a server. So we're gonna need MAMP for that and Xcode 9 for our, actually, for our actual application. So we're going to be using Laravel for our backend. Now, before we get into all that good stuff, let's actually create our iPhone application. So we're going to have to go here and open Xcode. It should look something like this. Now, what you're going to have to do is click create new Xcode project. So let's click that. We're going to be making a single view application. Now I know Instagram is a tab view application. It has multiple tabs, but for this part one of the video, later on, we're gonna be changing to a tab view, but for part one, it's it's okay to just start as a single view application. So we click next, and I'm gonna name this app Instagram clone. Make sure the language is set to Swift. And this part isn't really important, but I like to keep my projects in a neat area. So go to your projects folder, wherever you want. Mine is named great projects. And I'm going to name, I'll make a new folder called Instagram clone. And in here, I'm making two different folders. I'm making a folder called app and another folder called backend. Now, the reason I have two different fields is just to keep things neat. Backend is where our Laravel stuff is going to be happening, and app is where our Xcode stuff is going to be happening. This just keeps our project neat and all our code in one folder, Instagram clone. So we're going to click app and create project. This will create our project. And now our project is ready to set up, ready to start coding. Before we do that, let's set up Laravel. So we're going to exit Xcode because we don't need it anymore. Um, and let's set up our project. So we already did Xcode. Now let's do Laravel. So what we need to do is go to Laravel.com. And when you go to Laravel.com, it should look something like this. Now Laravel is a PHP framework. It makes it pretty easy to build APIs for our apps. Now, for like I said, I'm going every single step. I'm going to be taking it slow. So for the beginner, he can learn everything on exactly how the app is made from start to finish. So let's go to documentation. And documentation it says you're gonna need Composer installed. Now Composer is just a way to, it's like CocoaPods for Lyra, uh, for PHP. So you're gonna have to go to getcomposer.org or just search on Google. Let's go to Google real quick. 
we just go PHP composer and it should be the first link right here so when you go to the first link click click download and you're gonna have to run these in your terminal just follow these simple steps pretty simple just open up your terminal run this command then run the next one run that one and run the final one and you should have it installed pretty simple nothing too crazy now once you have that installed we can now make our laravel project so to do that it's pretty simple let's actually go to our great projects folder or our projects folder and let's go to instagram clone backend and here in our backend we are going to open up our terminal we're going to type in cd which means current directory we're going to drag in our backend folder click enter now this just makes it so our terminal is now in this directory and in this directory we are now going to create our laravel project so we're going to copy this line right here and click enter now this might take a while to install it's downloading all the cool stuff from laravel um, so let's just review our project folder while that is all happening uh, we have our app which has instagram clone and here is our xcode project now we have backend which is our laravel and it's going to installing all that good stuff now you're going to need some kind of text editor to edit your php code um my editor of choice is atom or sublime i'm just going to use sublime text um to download sublime text simply search sublime and it should be the first link right here pretty easy uh to follow just download and okay a laravel finished installing and let's just test it before we uh get started so we're gonna cd into it so current directory we're gonna want to go inside our laravel now another quick shortcut is ls ls shows you all the all the folders that are in that directory so we know we're in the right folder right now and we're gonna go cd laravel now let's see we're in the right folder yes yeah we are so we're gonna want to do php artisan php artisan is a couple commands that come with the laravel so if we click php artisan it shows you all our, of our commands that we can do create controllers create database migrate all that good stuff but the one we want to test is php artisan serve now what that's going to do is actually start up our laravel application on this IP address now to test this we're just gonna go to the browser and open this and there we go this is our Laravel application everything is set up and ready to go so our project is all set up we are ready to start coding so on the next video we're gonna be setting up our database and after that we are gonna be starting the login screen so I'll catch you guys on the next on the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I'm taking it really slow, but if you guys want me to speed it up a little bit, um, just remember I want this video, this series to be for beginners and for you know anyone to be able to learn without any knowledge of programming. So we just took it easy this video. We just installed all the applications that we're gonna be using. I showed you how to install Laravel. We have it running right here and, and how to open I mean how to start a xcode project that is good for now on the next video we're going to be setting up databases and connecting it to our laravel app application so i'll see you guys in the next video it's max c tutorials 8k mac and i'll catch you guys next time